Hi, I'm Bill Burnett, a training developer with OpenText's Fax and Document Distribution Group. In this video, I'll explain the key concepts underpinning OpenText Fax Server Write Fax Edition's Shared Services module. Why should you care? Scalability via load balancing. Add another server and it starts processing jobs automatically. High availability through redundancy with automatic effortless failover. That's on the server side and the client side. If your company is going virtual, you can leverage your investment in a robust virtual machine infrastructure. Performance. The throughput of fax server shared services gives you options that didn't exist before. Administrative efficiency through consolidation. Spend less time managing your servers. A fax server uses disk space to store fax images, production jobs, and other data. It also uses a database to store users' mailboxes, server configuration information, fax statuses, and the like. Suppose your organization needs to increase fax management capacity. You might add a fax server with its own separate database and distinct set of fax images and files. This works well in many environments, especially when the fax servers communicate across the enterprise with features such as fax servers intelligent least cost routing. With the shared services module, two, three, or four fax servers, four is the maximum you can have with shared services, share common file storage for faxes, queued jobs, and things like that. They also share a common database for mailboxes, configuration data, statuses, and such. Instead of having two databases to maintain, two file storage areas to manage, two sets of user accounts and mailboxes, etc., there's only one of everything. That's how the shared services module greatly simplifies system administration. If each server using the shared services module has a fax board or fax over IP software, it might look something like you see in this diagram. Because both servers are picking up jobs from shared work queues, they load balance evenly without special configuration. If a third and fourth server are added, the load is balanced even more widely. With this architecture, redundancy is pretty much effortless. If one server goes down, the other one continues to process its jobs. It is sometimes advantageous not to install fax boards or fax over IP software directly onto a fax server. Instead, deploying them on a remote dock transport server. A remote dock transport server pulls fax images from the fax server to transmit, and it gives the fax server the faxes it receives. The shared services module fully supports remote dock transport configurations. If a shared services server fails or loses network connectivity, FaxUtil will instinctively fail over to a working fax server. This failover happens automatically if a server fails while users are connected. FaxUtil failover also works when an unconnected user attempts to log in. If the initial target server is not available, FaxUtil will try the others on its own. The Shared Services module fully supports fax servers' virtualization capabilities. Both with FOIP software and with physical fax boards via remote dock transport. A Shared Services module installation is remarkably resilient, continuing to manage faxes in the face of outages of nearly every component. A system can lose servers and fax boards and remote dock transports and continue uninterrupted pretty much forever, albeit at a reduced capacity. For organizations that require them, high availability disk storage and database server configurations are available through a variety of vendors and technologies. 
Many organizations are investing in multi-purpose virtual environments for a variety of reasons, including performance, availability, and disaster recovery. The Shared Services module can leverage that virtual machine infrastructure investment with fax over IP or with physical fax boards. Now that I've told you how the Shared Services module works and why you should care, I'd like to invite you to get more information. Please visit us at faxsolutions.opentext.com.